Well, it's your voice, your vote. Polls in Virginia close in less than two hours. All seats in the Virginia General Assembly are on the ballot this year for the first time since 2019. And we have live team coverage throughout Hampton Roads. We begin with Ann Sparacco live in Virginia Beach at the polling location right next to Princess Anne High School. So, Ann, how's the turnout tonight? Well, Dan, Janet, we saw some more voters come out earlier just about an hour ago. We saw that big rush, especially as people are coming out of work. So it slowed down quite a bit, but we did see a few people utilize that curbside parking for people who cannot physically go inside the building to vote. Now, this is the precinct. This is one of the precincts where residents will vote for the 97th district, which is the race between Republican candidate delegate Karen Greenhall and Democratic candidate Michael Fagans. We spoke to a couple voters who came out this afternoon, Thomas Ferry has lived in Virginia Beach for the past 30 years and says he tries to cast his ballot every year. With all 140 seats up in the General Assembly and a lot at stake this election year, Ferry says there are a few topics that motivated him to come out today to vote. Uh, the control of the state legislature here, what party it goes to, I won't mention any parties or anything. Um, taxes, immigration, and we could name four or five others, but that's a good start, I guess. And a couple of people walking out of this polling location here today told us that they actually went to the wrong polling location. So within the next couple of hours, if you're still planning to head out to cast your ballot, make sure you have that right polling location so you can cast your ballot correctly. Reporting live in Virginia Beach, I'm Ann Sparaka for 13 News Now. And thanks. And uh, now to a hotly contested race on the peninsula. Democratic State Senator Monty Mason against former Yoke Pocosin Sheriff Danny Diggs. Mm. Alex Little Hales is live in Williamsburg and you spoke to both of these candidates ahead of tonight. Are they surprised how much attention this race has gotten? Hey, Dan. Hey, Janet. Yeah, about a month ago, I asked both of them, hey, are you surprised with just how much local and national attention your race has gotten? And they both said that they pretty much both knew from the very beginning that this they both consider was going to be a 50 50 battle, a race that both Democrats and Republicans saw as a must win for either maintaining the split or taking control of the General Assembly. But it's not just political experts that believe this is going to be a close race because the numbers bear that out too. According to the latest campaign finance reports through the Virginia Public Access Project, both campaigns have fundraised close to $9 million in total, more than half of that going to political ads. Now, this district is made up of parts of York County, Newport News, Williamsburg, and Pocosin. Now, right now, we know State Senator Monty Mason is making his rounds across the precincts here in Williamsburg, and we know that because we talked to him about an hour ago here at Queens Lake Middle School. He tells us why he is confident and opportunistic about tonight's election results. It, it is my first race with early voting. Sure. So, so making the calculations of what percentage of the precinct had already oh. voted. Hey, right. thanks for coming out to vote, sir. Remember, 65% of the district I've represented for the last 10 years. Um, well, in the last seven years in the Senate and a really good part of it in the House of Delegates for three before. Back live again, we are going to be following the Monty Mason campaign tonight. We will provide you any new updates and information we learn tonight. Live in Williamsburg, I'm Alex Little Hales for 13 News Now. All right, Alex, thank you. Well, Newport News voters make up a big chunk of that newly drawn district in the Mason Diggs race. And Allison Basil is live in the city with more. Hey, Allison. Hey, Dan. Hey, Janet. Some good tunes are playing here at Yates Elementary School in Newport News, and we've seen a lot of people grooving to that, heard everything from Uptown Funk to Sweet Caroline, and we got here around 3.30, and so far I've seen a steady flow of people heading inside to cast their ballot. Now, as Alex Little Hales mentioned, a big race for this area is Senate District 24. That's incumbent Democrat Senator Monty Mason and former York Pocos and Sheriff Republican Danny Diggs battling for that seat. Newport News voters do make up about 50% of this newly drawn district. Some voters in Newport News have the Senate District 23 race on their ballots, though. Senator Mamie Locke is running unopposed. The organization Virginia DJs at the polls is behind the fun music you can hear. Wayne Gomes is a DJ for this location, and he says he started playing at 7 a.m. this morning.
Yeah, I got my first Elvis Presley request, um, so, um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and, and people are really having a good time with it, um, waving and having a good time. So it, it's been fun for me, and it's been a fun, fun experience for, 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 the, for the citizens as well. And many of the voters heading inside tell me no one issue drove them to the polls today. They just wanted to do their civic duty. Live in Newport News, Allison Basil, 13 News Now.